Hey yo guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we'll be unboxing the brand spanking new Moto Guzzi Stelvio. Let's go. Ah. Oh yeah, and this is the brand spanking new V85 TT Travel coming out soon. Now, uh, something happened in the past with me and driving forklift, so uh, I put the intern on it. Now, Moto Guzzi has a special procedure to unbox this crate to be very safe. Look at this. See that? We got to do it like that. Uh, look over here. We need, uh, we need two persons. Eva! Eva! Eva, she's the new intern. I'm putting her in the video as well. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that specimen over here. Oh, we got an orange one, I didn't know that. So we got two colors, the Giallo Savannah or the Nero Volcano, but uh, this is of course the first one. We also got a couple of extra boxes over there. Yeah, we gotta figure out what that is. Hey! hey. <laughs> look at this one, we got the uh, Eagle from Mondello. Ooh, we also got an Italian bubble wrap. Look at that. Ah, quality. And of course, we got the uh, iconic V twin 1042 cc's Moto Guzzi engine. And now it's got 115 horsepower and 105 newton meters of torque. Yeah, this is a new modern adventure tourer. And a uh, ride by wire. Yeah. And of course, the name Stelvio is a homage to the highest mountain pass in Italy. It contains 48 bends. Now you know. You gotta take this bike there. You just gotta take it there. Every day is uh, Christmas with Uncle Smokey. So uh, we got more boxes. Oh Lord, we have more boxes to unbox. That's heavy, I think that's the battery. Ooh. No. In istruzioni di disimbalo, unpacking instructions. That's a nice feature. They put the unpacking instructions inside the box. Good plan. First things first, we're gonna unbox the battery because that is a very important. You have to put some fluids together and that has to stand for an hour before you can actually start it up for the first time. We also gotta unbox a lot of stuff, so we gotta get going. Look at that, the handlebar weights. We got some Chinese on the battery here. All right, we got this thing over here. Oh, oh, look at that. You can set up some bombs with this thing. Now, something happened in the past with me and filling up batteries, lawsuits, and uh, some people died. So I can't really do it myself. So I gotta let somebody else do it. We got a friend, Ronald, here. He's like uh, the perfect match. He knows everything about Moto Guzzi. So we're gonna hand it over to him. Decoming the knuckle. That's it. <laughs> Got some uh, paper tie wraps here. Very good for the environment. Look at that. Oh, the first one was another knot, this like different knot. Let's get her undressed. Ooh-wee. All right. Yeah. 
All right, we also got a nice set of keys. Look at that, with a very nice keychain. Join the community to clan, motoguzi.com. Join the clan. Very nice keys though, look at that. Nice. Oh, feels premium. Nice. And uh, look at that, we got the 19 inch in the front, 17 inch in the back. We got a uh, spoked wheels going on right here. And uh, the stock tires are the Michelin's Anaki Adventure Series. So there, yeah, you can do a little bit of off-roading with it. And yeah, look at that, we got a one-sided swing arm over here with a drive shaft. Nice. Also taking off the uh, taking off the Italian checklist. Look at that. Whoa! All right. Yeah, this is a, a two-man job. That is tied up nice. Lightweight. Yeah, buddy! Lightweight! All right, it's time to unbox some goodies, accessories. Let's go. So first up, we got the windshield. Let's put the uh, windshield on, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's not, it's not for the Stella Young, no. So first up, we got this little box here, the white one. I think, looking at the shape, it's probably going to be uh, the mirrors. Ah, look at that. Ooh. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Look at that, that is uh, Italian design right there. All right, box number two. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, bubble wrap. Oh, we got, we got four screws over here. Four screws. And we got bubble wrap, Italian bubble wrap. Oh, we got. We got some more protection inside of the bubble wrap. This is something expensive. This can be, this has to be, oh, look at this. What the, oh, we got the wind deflectors. Those are wrapped in a lot of plastic, though. Ooh-wee, nice. Moto Guzzi, made in Italy. All right, made in Italy, look at that, nice. We have another very light box. Everything is fairly light with the accessories here. Got some paperwork going on. What in the world is that? Istruzioni Montagio Paramina. Paramini. Paramini. Ronald, what does Paramini mean? Paramani. Paramani. What does Paramani mean? Handguards. I thought it was the front fender. Thank God we have Ronald. I would have put this on top of the front wheel. Holy cow! This is holy cow! <laughs> oh this is a this is a lot of bubble wrap. This thing is protected. Better rest myself from other people. Ooh, very nice. You always gotta test the quality of the bubble wrap. Oh, this is not bad. It's a six out of ten, six out of ten bow wrap. And box number three o. Three o is probably not Italian. Oh, yeah, of course, this this comes with the. Uh... Strong. And last but not least, I think this is going to be the windscreen. Yeah. Nice. We gotta undo three of these. 
mount the uh, wind deflectors. And also this bike has been tested for over 1500 hours in a wind tunnel. So uh, the wind doesn't punch you straight in the face. And a little wind deflector right here. Look at that. Make sure the bolt goes in straight. Now Ronald just doesn't only uh, help me out here. He also uh, works here as a mechanic, right? Yep. And he's service, also a big- Service engineer. Service engineer. He's a lot smarter than I. He also has a very nice Moto Guzzi in the parking lot as well. All right, the rubbers are already mounted here. It's time to put on the front screen. Did you guys already see my uh, Aviazione Navale uh, hoodie that I got? Yeah, it fits this bike. Yeah, this is a new uh, Moto Guzzi V100 Mandello. Marina edition, look at that. Shirt fits with the, uh, the hoodie fits with the, with the bike. And this is the one with the flaps that come out like. I'll be picking this up uh, in a couple of videos. I will be taking this out for a ride as well. Probably one of the easier screens I have ever put on a motorcycle. But no worries, probably your dealer will do this for you. Or you can always call Uncle Smokey for a special price. Look at the handlebar weights in there. Look at that, so they're put in there so they can't move. See that? All right, put it on like that. Very nice detail though, very nice detail. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'm gonna install the mirrors, but look at that, we don't have any thread. Hmm. It's an Italian system, it goes like that. Nice. Almost ready to start it up. Last thing, satisfying peel. Oh, oh that was a satisfying one. So uh, the stock seating height is 830 millimeters. Hey guys know I'm one meter and 76 centimeters and I have like very solid toe. So 830 millimeters high, 80 centimeter inseam if you really want to get personal with me. So yeah, it's kind of good. Uh, you do have of course a higher seat and a lower seat. The lower seat's probably going to uh, lower the seat with about 20 millimeters. So you're looking at like eight, 10 in total. And then I can probably touch the ground with my bare feet. And this is nice though, feels good. So now in Belgium, of course, uh, the stock Stelvio comes at 16,499 euros. And the PFF version, which I will talk about later on, this got more safety features, is 17,299 euros. So I will tell about that in a second. Now uh, it does not come as a standard with a double stand, you're looking at a 200 euro extra optional double stand down there. If you want to have the heated comfort seat, that's also an extra 300 euros. And the heated grips, also optional at 269 euros. Now this is kind of good that you can have all the options separately, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on like packages that contain stuff yeah, that you don't really need. And then over here, of course, we have the uh, six-speed gearbox with a, a quick shifter that is also optional and the quick shifter is also 200 euros. Also got a very nice design over here. We got 170 millimeter of suspension travel in the rear and also 170 in the front. And also a fully loaded, fully fueled up. We're looking at 246 kilograms. And with fully fueled up, I mean 21 liters of premium gasoline. And this engine is also 5.1 liters on 100 kilometers. So it's not a real drinker. And if you really want to know, it's 119 grams of CO2 emissions. And if you're wondering, yes, the electrical screen is stock. So the electric screen comes a standard. That's a nice feature though. Anyway, it is time to uh, install the battery. So uh, let's open up the seat down here, pop it up. Well, I got some nice Italian leather over here. On the bottom, we got a little bit of a wrench. We got a little storage compartment going on over here. Oh, and these are the... Uh, this is the lock for the cases, for the top case and the, the side ones. All right, so uh, of course we got a couple of different seats. We got a higher one, we got a lower one. We also got some heated seats that are optional. That little wrench underneath the passenger seat is to undo these little uh, nuts over here, these little bolts to get to the battery. That was a fresh snap right there, nice. All right, ooh, we got a book over here, look at that. Oh, 
that is like a, a very big manual. And this little socket over here is for the multimedia system. So if you want to hook up your phone to the motorcycle, you need a little extra option. Okay, you gotta hook it up right there. We're taking a different battery because the other one has to sit for more than an hour to let it relax and charge. So we're just for you guys, we want to start up faster. You got another one. Now uh, hooking up the battery doesn't always go well with me, but uh, got a good feeling this is not going to be a problem though. Oh yeah, always hook up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Opa! So if you're hooking up the battery, do the positive first and the negative later. Because if I hook up the negative right now and I'm working on the positive and I hit the frame right here, then you got Kablamo. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Uh, five inch display as well. Very cool colors. Time, maximum speed, average speed, average fuel. MGTT, MGCT, Moto Guzzi. Controllo Trazione. Controllo Trazione. Yeah, everything is in Italian, guys. You cannot put this in Dutch or German, probably. And we got five riding modes. We got Turismo, Pioggia, Off Road, that turns off the rear ABS, Sport, and Strada. And always a, a very important one that I always need to test out how does the horn sound? Does the horn sound Italian? <coughs> Sounds like a Vespa. Now you do have two versions, the normal one and the PFF one. The PFF stands for Piaggio Fast Forward. Yeah, Piaggio Fast Forward is a Boston-based company, a robotics company founded in 2015. Yeah, they are going to make sure you can ride safe. We got not less than four different safety options and one of four is optional. It's kind of strange, I should have put that in there as well. But anyway, so yeah, first up, it's got forward collision detection. So you don't smack on the guy in front of you. The second one is actually the blind spot information. So if you have something in your blind spot, in a big range around you, you will get warnings on the screen and warnings on the mirror. Only this one doesn't have the option. This is not a PFF bike, so it can't really, can't really show you that. And the third one we have is the lane change assist. So if you use your indicators from the left to the right, and there is a car or something in your blind spot right there, it will also notify you on the screen and on the mirrors. And the fourth one that you can take as an extra option is the following cruise control. So not just regular cruise control, but something that also adapts to the traffic in front of you. So yeah, now it's uh, time to start it up. We're gonna check all the fluids, see if there's oil on it. Then we're gonna fire it up for the first time. More than enough. Nice. Then we have the coolant down there. Yeah. Coolant level looks good. Look at it shake. All right, and with any further ado, we gotta take it home. Let me know what your favorite color is, the yellow one or the volcano black one. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao bella. If you want to see the next video, it is right over there. If you want to see my favorite video, it is right over there. Subscribing is done right over here. And if you want to know all about YouTube, go to smokeytube.com. See you guys in the next one. Click one of these.